we're going to be palpating the muscle piriformis. We're going to be finding the origin along the side of the sacrum. Now piriformis does actually originate on the anterior surface of the sacrum, but I'm not going to be able to palpate that. So we're going to get as close as we can going through what is known as the greater sciatic notch. So let's review that a little bit and how we get ourselves there. I first landmarked the PSIS, posterior superior iliac spine. I'm going to move inferior from that. And the next, it's not really a bony landmark, but thing that you, the last part of bone that you'll feel before you drop into a significant soft spot is PIIS. So PSIS, move inferior, PIIS and then drop down into the greater sciatic notch. Now, you can feel the lateral edge of the sacrum, so I can go on the sacrum and drop off. This is softer as we kind of sink into this tissue here. And this is gonna be as close as I can get towards the origin. So I'm gonna be moving and grabbing an ankle now so that I can kind of lift it up. And for this, we're gonna to try to activate the belly. And the main function that piriformis is doing is it's taking the femur and rolling it towards the sacrum. So in this case, that is going to be lateral rotation of the acetabulofemoral joint. So you're gonna go back to as close as you can to the origin, just past that sacrum. I'm gonna put some pressure to the inside of their ankle here and they're gonna contract and relax. And then I'm gonna move a little bit further over and start to sink in. And again, go through that same activation. Now the action again is external rotation, but the muscle that you're going through is gluteus maximus. Medius is going to be above piriformis and you're gonna to have to sink through basically maximus. Unfortunately, glute max also does external rotation, but if I let her do this forcefully on her own, you're not seeing a huge contraction of gluteus maximus versus if she was to lift her leg up off the table, that's definitely gonna fire off glute max. So by keeping the leg as flat on the table as possible, sinking through gluteus max, and then having them do just the rotation should allow you to feel the piriformis muscle. Please be warned as you're palpating, especially close to the origin and deep in the belly, the sciatic nerve is exiting out underneath piriformis. So people might experience some tenderness, especially in this area if you're pushing too hard while you're palpating the belly. A lot of people spend a majority of their day relaxed in an externally rotated position as well. So they might find that it's uncomfortable with deep palpation on it. I've slowly worked my way from medial to lateral and I keep using the leg as a lever. What I'm actually trying to do is feel the movement of the greater trochanter. So I'm starting to pick up that movement of the greater trochanter right now. And I'm trying to feel kind of that superior aspect for the insertion of piriformis. Again, I'm gonna ask for her to do some external rotation. Good. I'm gonna bring the leg back down and go towards my origin again. So if you take a look from origin towards insertion, piriformis does go primarily lateral, but almost on a very slight inferior oblique angle. So again, from O towards I on that superior aspect of the greater trochanter, the femur. Because of that, in this neutral position, piriformis is one big action is going to be external rotation as it rolls that femur posteriorly, but if we change the angle, which we won't be able to do from this position, if you start to flex the leg up towards 90 degrees, it actually turns into a horizontal abductor and slight internal rotator. So it's worth mentioning, however, while your person is in prone, the only action that you can use to fire it off is going to be external rotation. This is going to conclude our palpation for piriformis.